Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Daily VoiceOver Huddle. I'm Bill DeWeese, your host. Professional voiceover talent. Been doing this full-time since 2006. My time flies when you're having fun. And voiceover coach. And welcome to the channel. By the way, if you're new, a big special welcome. Did you know there's over 1,300 videos, all free information on this channel to help you all here for the singular purpose of helping you make money in voiceover, to turn it from a hobby, from a dream, into a reality, into a job, into a career. That's what this channel is all about. So make sure you subscribe, like, share, you know, all that fun stuff. So to get the, and by the way, thank you for those of who, you who've already checked into the, uh, the live stream chat. I love it when you take a moment just to say, hey, let me know who you are and where you're watching or listening from. But to get 2024 started on the right foot, we've been getting back to basics which is always a good idea. You can never go back to the basics too often because it's the basics that if you understand them and you make sure that those pistons are firing well and correctly, um, your odds of success in voiceover just dramatically increased. And so, so far we've talked about having, making sure your audio is great because it, according to research, is the number one factor in considering whether you will be hired or not. Believe it or not, not your voice, not your website, not your branding. It's the quality of your audio, number one. And uh, we also talked about performance. Talked about that yesterday. And that it's uh, it's the groove, right? It's it's the groove, not the pitch. People people dance to the groove. They dance to the feel, to the emotion, expressing your personality, your point of view, your attitude. And then today we get to, yes, you know, it's important. It ranks for way up there, your demo. Think of it this way. Your voiceover demo or demos equals voiceover opportunity. If you want opportunities and you, in any kind of a business and certainly in voiceover, we need lots of opportunities. Opportunities lead to jobs. Usually the opportunity comes before the job comes. Rarely, it does happen on occasion, somebody will reach out and say, hey, I want to hire you. But it's usually, hey, I heard your demo, like your demo, uh, would you audition for this? So typically the way it works is the demo, if it's good enough, catches the ear and the imagination of the listener, will lead to an opportunity to audition, which can then lead to an opportunity for a job. So it's, it's the first critical link in that sequence of events. The demo has to uh, not only grab their attention, but it has to it has to resonate going back to it's the beat, not, or it's the groove, not the pitch. It has to resonate with that person. And so that's why it's so important to have a really great demo. Now, you've heard me talk about DIY demos. For those of you who are brand new, you're just trying to get your footing, you're starting with a little money, yes, uh, you can you can get work through some of the, especially the freelance sites on the lower pay end spectrum with a DIY demo, and you don't need to have it fancy. You don't have to use music, sound effects, good, clean voice. We'll do the trick on that. But as soon as you're able to invest and take the next step, because what it's going to do, here's the idea of a demo. Here's how it creates opportunities. When somebody hears your demo, they should feel like this should be, and I, I hear this a lot, which this is ideally what a client would say. Oh, yeah, 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 I've heard you before. It should be so well produced, so well performed that they feel like they've heard it on television before. Because there's a certain quality of production and of direction of talent that happens on a national TV commercial level that is common amongst all commercials of, of that level. And people know it. They may not be able to explain it, but they know it when they hear it. They realize, oh, okay, this is good. This is good. So a good producer will bring out certainly your best performance, but also will package it and produce it in such a way that it looks, sounds, and feels like it was pulled off of a national TV ad. And uh, it's staging. You know, for those of you who, if you understand real estate better than you do voiceover, that'll make sense. It's like staging. It's taking a house and it's putting a fresh coat of paint, it's putting the right furniture in it, it's making it look and feel like the kind of place somebody wants to live. And that's what a demo will do for you. It will stage you. And I know some of you I've worked with producing your demos, you know exactly what I'm talking about and the difference that it can make. 
And um, it wasn't that long ago, I received an email from somebody who said, oh my goodness, um, I, I didn't change the level of the person's talent, but what I did do was I created a demo to create opportunities. And these demo opportunities exploded because of the proper production of the demo. So think of it as if you're going to go out and get a job, you wouldn't be able to go out and get a job without a resume, without a CV, if you're a graphic artist and without some sort of portfolio. This is your resume, your, your CV, your portfolio, all rolled on into one. The demo creates the opportunity. No good demo. And notice I said good demo, not just demo. No good demo, no opportunities. You've got a good demo, you're going to get opportunities. And uh, with time and, of course, and experience, as you get better at closing the deal, winning the audition, um, you know, your ratio of wins and your income will, will go up. But it begins with having that great demo that creates those opportunities. So that's that. Are, are you psyched? Are you ready? Are you ready to, to jump into the, the demo phase of things if you haven't yet? Are you ready to go back and, and review and evaluate your demo? Make sure it's up to date. Does it reflect your latest skills? Does it sound current? Is it getting the attention? Are you getting the feedback that you want and you, that you need from that demo? If not, perhaps it's time to consider a new demo or a demo update or refresh or something um, along that line. Before I give my shout outs and do my roll call for those of you who are on the live stream this morning, I wanted to mention um, I've got my voiceover launch accelerator training available. My Launch Accelerator 2024 to get you ready for the new year. It's my 11, <clears throat> excuse me, 11 important business strategies to make sure you're hitting all the right bases here in 2024. It's only available for a very limited time. If you go below in the link in the description, click it, check it out. If you're in my voiceover blueprint, you have access to this already. You have access to all my stuff. Uh, but you guys knew that already, right? But if you're not, this is a way to be introduced uh, into my into my training without making the major commitment of the voiceover blueprint. But if you're interested in that, there's a link below to that as well. All right, so let's see who we've got on the live stream this morning. We've got first in this morning with Susan. Hey, Susan, congrats and good morning. Uh, Julian Hummelstown, Pennsylvania. Rob in lovely, rainy Loveland, Ohio. By the way, yeah, I mean, for those of us in the Midwest, I think especially maybe East Coast as well, Got some interesting weather last night. Um, woke up this morning to a couple, looks like a few inches, I don't know, inch and a half, a couple inches of snow, which is now slush. Nasty, nasty stuff here. Uh, I don't mind pretty snow, but it does this mushy, meh, slushy snow, not so much. Phil in Tokyo, Brandon in Oregon, Nephi in Knoxville, Bill in snowy Boise, Ron in Charleston, South Carolina. Um... Oh, wind, rain, and maybe tornadoes. Yikes. Well, hope, hope the tornadoes don't develop. That's insult to injury right there for sure. GS, how are you doing? In soggy, in the soggy Northwest, Greg in Asheville, North Carolina. Sirius, good morning to you in Charlotte. Uh, Derek in Kennewick, Washington. Doug in Greensboro, North Carolina. Aaron from Snow-Covered Como. Chad in Daytona. Uh, Dale in Atlanta, Tina, rainy Tuesday here in Georgia, Mike, good morning to you in Spanish Fort, Alabama, Rebecca, what's going on in Albion, Michigan, congrats to your Wolverines, by the way, it hurts me to say that it takes, that it takes a huge amount of humility for me to say that, but congrats, congrats to you, Anthony, hello to you in Phoenix, John in Rhinebeck, New York, um, Dimple in Ohio, Mike, in Matawan, New Jersey. Ron, what's up? Ron says, don't forget to give Bill a thumbs up. Thank you, Ron. I, I appreciate that. It means a lot. Melissa in San Diego. Denise in Long Island. Dr. Bob in Clearwater. Sandra in Old Worthington, Ohio. Have a productive day. You too. Hey, Amisha in Florence, South Carolina. Ty in Wet, Warsaw, Indiana. We've got Dave in uh, the Big Apple. What's up, Dave? Amy, good morning to you. Very snowy, slick Altoona, Pennsylvania. Ethan, good morning from Toronto. Greg, or Craig, rather, good morning to you. Um, good morning, Professor Bill. Thanks for all the advice. Greetings from Holland, Melee. Well, thank you, Melee. I appreciate that. Amanda, how are you doing in suburban Philadelphia? Wayne, in windblown Port Orchard, Washington. Lewis, in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Tim, good morning to you. In snowy Altoona, Pennsylvania. Tess. 
Hello from a very rainy Decula, Georgia. Craig Davis says, good morning from Blizzardy, Wichita. Blizzardy, I like that. Uh, Riley, hello in Paris, Texas. Theo says, good morning to Bill and all from downtown Chicago, where everyone on the sidewalks are doing the puddle jump. And that a traditional seasonal Chicago dance. <laughs> oh, yes. B, good morning to you. Mark, good morning in Estes Park, Colorado. Mark, uh, the other Mark in Wilmington, North Carolina. John, good morning. Krista, I just recorded a job from my demo. Made a cold call. Listen to this, guys. Krista made a cold call a few months ago. Got permission to send my demo. It turned into a gig. The demo did the heavy lifting. And that's the way it works. Krista, way to go. But note that that would have never worked had Krista not reached out. That dreaded cold call, which is once you've you've done it a time or two, you realize it's not nearly as dreaded as it was in your mind. But that's the process. Way to go, Krista. JR, good morning to you in sunny Austin, Texas. John in Chile, San Diego. Uh, Still confronting doing my DIY demo. John. John, John, listen, listen. Here's my advice for you this morning. Just do it. You feel like you're not ready. I mean, there's a probably 101 reasons why you're still confronting it and not doing it. Seriously, just go go on YouTube, find some convert commercials you like, transcribe them, do your demo today. Nothing happens until that demo is recorded. Get things rolling. You can always re-record a demo. That's the beautiful thing about it. It doesn't set anything in stone, nothing at all. Uh, David, good morning to you from very snowy Gardner, Kansas. Christopher, good morning to you in Dubuque, Iowa. Joe Lee, what's up? Rusty in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Did you watch football last night? I did. I did. Again, congrats, all you Wolverines up there in Wolverine land. Wally says, Bill, you sound good again. Well, thank you. I, I think I do sound a little better than I did a week ago. I'll be honest with you, I don't feel a lot better. Um, I haven't tested in the last couple of days, but I mean, that really doesn't matter at this point. I'm, I'm in the house. I'm not going anywhere, but I thought I would be, you know, feeling like 90, 95% by now, but I'm still very, very congested, very tired all day. But you know, Hey, you guys, you guys know the drill. It is what it is. I'm just lucky. I didn't get a bad case of it. Uh, let's see here. Baz from the background. Good morning. Been struggling, trying to make a demo. Okay, well, hang in there, Bass. Hang in there. You can do your DIY demo in the meantime, and uh, that's that's a good skill builder, recording, editing, all of that fun stuff. Terry, hello to you in Rainy Falston, Maryland. Jeremy says, I want to thank you for what you do. I'm an aspiring voice actor, and you are someone who shines light on the darkness of the journey. Well, Jeremy, thank you. I appreciate that. I know what it feels like to walk down those those lonely, dark roads of voiceover. So, yeah, every bit of light helps, that's for sure. Uh, Geekalicious says, thanks for the info. Yeah, good morning. Thank you. I appreciate that. Chris, good morning to you in Lakeville, Minnesota. HA, how are you doing? All right. Hey, guys, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Don't forget, I've got this very special training for you. It's my launch, New Year's launch accelerator. I'm going to give you my top strategy, business strategies. You're going to find it extremely helpful, it's actionable information. The link is below in the description. Go check it out. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.